how to use a Canon AE-1 program 35mm SLR film camera. Today we'll dive into the features, functions and hidden gems of the Canon AE-1 program. What sets it apart and how can it transform your photography experience. Sit back, relax and let's dive in. To get your AE-1 program up and running, the correct battery is vital. This camera is compatible with various 6V batteries such as alkaline manganese, silver oxide or lithium. If you want to install the battery, we need to remove the grip first. Use a coin or a screwdriver to remove the grip. Then you want to wedge your finger in here to open the battery chamber. Here is a bonus tip for you. Always carry an extra battery, especially for crucial shoots. Cold environments can affect battery performance, leading to potential missed shots. To combat this, keep spare batteries warm, perhaps close to your body or in a pocket, ensuring the AE-1 program is ready regardless of the weather. Once the battery is installed, quick test confirms its health. Press the battery check button for a few seconds. A rapid succession of six or more beeps per second indicates a strong battery, while fewer than three beeps suggest it's time for a replacement. No sound after pressing the check button signals an exhausted battery, necessitating an immediate change. This simple yet effective test is crucial for maintaining the reliability of your AE-1 program. Let's go through the essential steps to get your camera ready for capturing those unforgettable moments. Start by finding the rewind knob on the camera's top left. Pulling it up will release the back cover, giving you access to the film chamber. Grab your 35mm film canister and place it into the chamber located on the left, making sure the film's flat side is oriented downwards. Gently draw the film leader, the starting strip of your film, out and towards the take-up spool on the right-hand side. Attach the film leader to the take-up spool. There are slots designed for this purpose. With the film in place and tensioned, shut the back cover. It should click, indicating it's securely locked. Use the film advance lever on the camera's top right to advance the film until it moves smoothly. This action readies the camera for the first shot and usually requires a few strokes. Match the camera's ISO setting with your film's sensitivity. This crucial step affects exposure. The ISO dial located around the rewind knob can be adjusted by pressing it down and turning to the correct ISO value. Glance at the frame counter to ensure it indicates the starting point, usually one or just before, signifying the film is set for exposure. Unlocking the full potential of the Canon AE-1 program means getting to grips with two fundamental concepts, shutter speed and aperture. These are the tools that give your images life, depth and emotion. At the heart of every photo is the decision of how long to expose your film to light, manipulated via the camera's top dial, whether capturing the blink of an eye at one thousand of a second or embracing the slow reveal of a two second exposure, the AE-1 program offers the range you need. And for those who are looking for long exposure photos, the bulb mode got you covered. The aperture control on your lens determines how much light enters. Slide through f1.8 to f22 to play with depth of field from pinpoint sharpness to expansive clarity. The lens's green A simplifies your choice, automatically adjusting aperture with shutter speed for optimal exposure. Navigating the light meter in the Canon AE-1 program unlocks perfectly exposed photographs. There are two simple methods to this invaluable tool. The first involves pressing the AE lock switch when held down, activates the light meter displayed directly in your viewfinder. Alternatively, a more delicate approach requires a half press of the shutter button, though effective, tread lightly with this method to avoid any unintended snapshots. The AE-1 program's light meter operates slightly differently than what you might find in other cameras. For a streamlined experience, set your aperture ring to the green A for automatic. With this setting, as you dial in your shutter speed, the light meter informs you of the optimal aperture, essentially doing the heavy lifting for you. Watch out for blinking red 32 on the meter. This signals potential overexposure painting your scene too brightly. Conversely, a flashing red one cries out a warning of underexposure, indicating that your film craves more light. Here is a bonus tip for when your subject is backlit. Start by framing your subject within the viewfinder. 
with a gentle halfway press of the shutter button. Now tap the AE lock switch. This action tells your AE1 program, hold on to this exposure, it's the one I want. Now, with the exposure locked in, you're free to step back and recompose your shot without losing the perfect lighting you've set. The A1 program maintains the tactile satisfaction of manual focus with a bright viewfinder aiding in precision. When you peer through the A1 program's viewfinder, you'll encounter the split image focusing screen. Here's how it works. As you rotate the focus ring on your lens, watch for the moment the split image in the viewfinder's center merges into a single cohesive scene. This alignment is your cue that the subject is in sharp focus. Bonus tip. You can roughly check the depth of field visually with an FD lens. Make sure the film has been completely advanced. Press the shutter button halfway down to find out which aperture number is displayed in the viewfinder. Then press in the AE lock pin and turn the aperture ring to that number. Push in the stop down lever until it locks. Now, just by looking at your subject through the viewfinder, you can see the range of sharp focus. After checking the depth of field, unlock the stop down lever. Now turn the aperture ring to the smallest number, then turn it to the largest number number, press the AE lock pin and return the aperture ring to A. For security, the camera includes a lock feature marked as L on a nearby switch, preventing accidental photos. Additionally, setting the switch to S activates the self-timer, signaled by a beeping sound allowing for timed captures. This functionality enhances both control and flexibility in your photography process. To replace the lens on your AE-1 program, start by pressing the lens release button located on the side of the 50mm f1.8 lens. Gently twist the lens counterclockwise to release it from the camera body, ensuring you hold it firmly to avoid any drops. When attaching a new lens, align the red dot on the lens with the corresponding mark on the camera body, then rotate the lens clockwise until it clicks into place, indicating a secure attachment. This process not only allows for quick lens changes but also expands your creative possibilities by adapting to different photographic needs and scenarios. The A1 program offers dual pathways for incorporating flash into your photography. For a direct connection, utilize the hot shoe mount located atop the camera. Alternatively, for flashes equipped with a sync cord, the AE1 program provides a PC sync port on its front side. After a productive session with the AE-1 program, unloading your film is a critical step that bridges your photographic efforts to the tangible results. This process not only marks the end of your current photographic journey, but also begins the transition from captured moments to physical prints or scans. Make sure you've taken all the photographs on your film roll. The film advance lever will stop moving once the film is fully used. Locate the rewind knob on the top left side of the camera. At the bottom of the camera, you'll find a small button. Press this button to disengage the film advance mechanism, allowing the film to be rewound. Turn the rewind knob or crank in the direction indicated by the arrow, usually clockwise. You should feel resistance at first, which will ease as the film is wound back into the canister. Continue rewinding until you feel no more resistance, indicating that the film is fully rewound into the canister. Once the film is fully rewound, you can safely open the camera's back cover. Lift the rewind knob and pull up on it. The back cover should pop open. Take the film canister out of the camera, handling it gently to avoid any accidental exposure to light for undeveloped film. Handling the film with care during unloading helps ensure that the developed pictures retain their integrity and quality. Properly unloading and storing your film safeguards these visual memories, preparing them for the development process. This careful approach to film preservation is essential for maintaining the quality of your photographs from the moment they're taken until they're finally displayed. We've just scratched the surface of what the Canon AE-1 program can do. As you continue to explore the world of film photography, you might wonder, what's next? How do I choose another camera that fits my needs? And what are the essential techniques I should learn? For answers to these questions and more, watch this video. I'll delve into how to pick the right camera for your needs.